All right. We are back with more red, and we are doing this for purely scientific purposes. Jesus, hi there, McDougal. Hey, you too, Professor. Forgive me, I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard... Remarkable of agitation, but also due to the okay. fact that I have finally solved <clears throat> the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. What's that? The nature of the savage soul! What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use a pejorative such as worse, but, 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 but lesser! Meaning... Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god! You know, I argued with Fortescue at Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir! I shall! Mark my words! I shall show them all what civilization is all about. The redskins and the nubs at Yale. Come, sir! I have a way to sate both our desires. I will bring you, Vanderlint and me, the evidence of savages reverting to type! Come, sir! Where the devil is the start? He should be here All with the right. horses. Right. Um, McDougal's in a tizzy today, I see. My heart's beating like a drum. Try to calm down, calm Professor. Down. I've never been so excited in all my life. What? Hello, Ooh. Professor. Mr. Marston. Hello, Nastas. Mustache. Oh, God. Years of research. What were you talking about back there? Yeah, what are we, we doing? Nastas has set up a meeting. A powwow, I think they call it. A meeting of minds, of souls, oh, wow. Indians and whites, academics <clears throat> and criminals coming together to find a common Jesus. understanding. Nastas, this fool's making no sense. Some of Vanderlyn's men have agreed to meet with Professor McDougal up at Bearclaw Cabin. Why the hell would they want to do that? I think they are interested to find out what conclusions a white man has reached on hundreds of years of culture and society from the comfort of his hotel room. Wonderful! <laughs> Do you think I could ask for a skin sample from the soles of their feet? Oh, I don't Jesus, think no. that's a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea at all. set this meeting up in the middle of the damn night. Right? That's what I don't understand. This is it. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Don't look a very friendly bunch, do they? Stay close, Mr. Marston. I'm a little out of my comfort zone. Evidently. That guy doesn't look... That guy looks like a sheriff over there. He doesn't look like no damn... You don't look like sheriffs. Or not sheriffs, but oh well, well, I don't know. Hello, gentlemen. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us! We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. Well, I had to but I Violence isn't the answer! Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. The likes which you could only imagine. Put your hands up! We come in peace! What was he says, Marston? You call this a meeting? Give me your damn weaponry. This is not what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! Oh, oh shit! Damn it, Dutch! Oh, 
Get down now! God damn it. What Dutch did this? Somebody's oh, kill this guy! It's a nightmare! Do something quick! Just keep it! Okay, okay. Okay. Here's my good repeat. Whatever you do, please don't leave me in here! Now, while we got the chance. Yes, let's get out of this hell hole and back to civilization. I ain't Russian. You dragged me into this. I guess I got it, or else you're gonna. Damn. I'm sorry, Nostis' horse. Giddy up! Come on! I mean, you think they'd bring the horse back? We should back move quickly! Them. There's plenty more where they came My from. My God, I feel terrible. My head is pounding. Getting shot at will do that to you. I'm completely drained. It's like my body has aged ten years. Oh my God, they fast! Do something, Austin! Come on! I can't wait. Just drop the gun. It ain't worth it. Go to your office. I don't see anymore. You don't have time to Keep your eyes sit around. Getting shot at here. I wish I could say the Niger. same! Blackwater! Oh, I will never talk ill of you again! Civilization in all its glory, Mr. McDougal! And am I glad to be back? I'm in dire need of a syringe. Something to clear the mind and restore the spirit. Oh, yeah, that's So it. you ain't planning on sleeping then? Sleep? <laughs> My dear boy, I'll probably never sleep again! You know, they seem to be awfully remorseful Whoa, about stars. I mean, Jesus, I only felt like we just met the guy. Oh, what the... Okay. Um, just going in the alley. Dougal. Safe and sound. Thank the Lord. Oh, so God. much for a meeting of minds. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I could be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. Get some rest, Professor. Okay. And now we are left in the rain. Alright, well, we have another mission right here, so let's just do it. The prodigal son returns to Yale. Don't tell me he's leaving already. Professor! Oh, it's you, dear boy. Come in, come in, and shut the door. What? What's this going is not on? the same room we were in. You leaving? Yes, sir. Yes, I am, sir. You know, you know the thing? The thing that is vital, without which scholarship cannot proceed, sir? No, what is that? I don't. I'm not having a bullet in your flipping neck, sir. I'm not cut out for this. No, I'm not cut out for this at all. <laughs> Nope. They're fucking savages! Savages! I think we all are. Not me, sir. I'm from Connecticut. I'm a professor at Yale. I write books. I do not deserve to die out here. Where's my tincture? Oh, yes. Yeah. 
You okay, Professor? Oh, dandy, sir. Just dandy. Oh, oh great heavens above! Is that you, John? Hello, Dutch. <laughs> I think that's what they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place. Maybe so, Dutch. You and, and, and your friend there, the professor? We're gonna kill the both of you. <laughs> Why you wanna do a thing like that? I don't know. Sport, I guess. Fair enough. Uh, Why don't I come out there? We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their families. Well, that's... That sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boys here, they already lost their families a long time ago. We aren't thieves, John. <laughs> we're fighting for something a bit like you. Only we're fighting for an idea, not just for ourselves. That's beautiful, Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you kindly send that academic out here so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology? Lisa, what are we going to do? I'm going to hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? I'm just kidding. We're going to run across the rooftops. Get you back to your ivory tower. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. We're still here. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Um, um, hey, yeah, good day, sir. Uh, madam, look here, sir. What is the meaning of this this outrage? You two stay down. And shut. Well, we're about to be shot at, mister. Um, don't, ma'am, that's just wholly unnecessary. But where are you going? McDougal. Come on. We can get to the roof this way. Well, you... Okay. John! Help me, John! One more move, and he's a dead man. That's the buzzer. Time! Is that it's all you bus. got? All right. Christ alive! How many are there? We're completely surrounded! Come on, peek. This is it, Marston! Is it over? That's a certain kind of scream. Oh, that's... Where are the rest of them? Not having a good day. And more the horses should be in an alleyway down here. Well, yeah, because isn't that where we left them? Like, just left them. Unbelievable. Yes, get off. <laughs> I just made him get Giddy off. Up. Come on, let's get the hell out of Blackwater. I thought it was supposed to be safe here. McDougal. To the station! I'm not staying in this place a minute longer! I hope it's not McDougal. This really couldn't have gone more it's horribly wrong! It, so I'm gonna say At least McDougal. you got some good material for your next book! You know, I dreamt of documenting the last days of the Old West. The romance, the honor, the nobility. But it turns out it's just people killing each other! It yeah. always was, <laughs> Professor! And the Old West ain't quite dead yet! Oh, I know, Mr. Marston! Believe me, I know! Yeah, he totally knows. I feel like Wayne really knows worse? a bit better than he does, though. Come on! Here are my 
cat. Oh my god! There's more of them! Okay. Sorry about that. Let's continue. Come on. Dude, you're running away from me. You don't want to do this. So what is he going back to Yale already? I think people here, here find the knives and stuff here. Each of the different ah, things with knives. My research is complete. Much as I thought, there's no civilizing this savage land. I could have told you that for nothing. Ah, but they'll give me a prize in New Haven for this. <laughs> well, they bloody better. Well, goodbye, Mr. Marston. Best of luck, dear friend. So long, Professor. So long, sir. I, I won't lie. I'm gonna miss... I miss N Nigel more than I miss this guy. <coughs> Why? Because at least Nigel was there. This guy's here for three seconds, doesn't help us with Dutch, and then he leaves. I want to get the Manzanita property here, but... Part of me is like, eh. Okay, let's head on out. Hop in. Uh, of course, it's Agent Ross. Um, there are a couple things I do want to do in Peach Landing. But since this guy's right here, I'll save the actual Okay, gotta tell you, never right really driven one of these before. For another time. Give me the thief's landing. This is where I need to go, sir. Right there. I think I'm gonna get some sleep. It's nap time for John. And as the revolver unloads and loads itself. The loading screen's always done very well in this game. Gen this gentleman must be the mysterious stranger's friend. Perhaps you should give him some advice. Okay, um... Good to see you. Good. Encourage the man, give him... I wish I discourage could. him. Uh, let's discourage him. Wasn't he married or something? <clears throat> Excuse me, mister. Yeah, what the hell do you want? Look, well... Don't ask how, but I know what you're about to do. You don't want to do this. What the hell are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about, mister. I'm just here to say I don't think you should go through with it. Your wife, she loves you. Yeah, I was right. Shit, mister. I don't know who or what you are, but 
I guess I'm grateful. I guess you're right. I was raised better than this. Don't mention it. On, <laughs> She's upset, clearly. All right. I know you is complete. Now, there was something about there being a tailor down here. And the problem is, I don't see a tailor down here. Maybe I'm just blind. See if I can't attempt to get this property. I can. We'll just chill here for the night. I think for this episode we might call it good here. Um, let's see if one last thing. Purchase suit from Taylor. Okay, what the hell? Alright, well, um, there's the tailor. Where's that tailor? You know, I like having a place down here. It's like swampy armadillo. Kind of digging it. Howdy. one is which here? Position. Okay. Are you the tailor? You are. Hello, friend. Elegant suit for 70 bucks. Ooh. Yes. 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 Oh, what's going on? Hey, what the hell? None of that. What the hell? Excuse me, ma'am. I can't even... Thank you so much. No. You should stay away from men like that. Jesus. Now we have a suit. That appar apparently the suit allows me to cheat at poker. Where is the suit? Let me put it on before we end the video. Because why not? Yes. Not yes. You know what? Nice. This is nice. I like this. You've got the. Look where you're walking, boy. All right. Anyways, thanks guys for watching. Um, if you want to see more stuff like this and you happen to like the video, please leave, feel free to leave a like or consider subscribing. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or any other concerns, uh, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Um, I, I don't have any other owns after that. I just don't. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next episode of Red Dead Redemption. Um, until then, uh, have a nice day, everybody.